welcome to part two of today's workout. You've been working so hard, so let's continue that right to the end. Are you ready? We're gonna slowly tap to the side and hold. Nice little jog in between. We go again, four, three, two, one, hold. Let's make it bigger. Four, three, two, hold. Good. Do it again. Four, three, two, one, hold. Now we're gonna kick the leg away. So kick, kick. Arms cross over the shoulder. Good. Arms up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squat it down. Out, in, out, in. When you're ready, add the arms. Good. Come on. Woo. Now, hold, step, slide. Core tight, step, slide. When you're ready, bring the arms in. We're gonna speed it up. Let's go. Woohoo! Come on. You got this. Well done. From the top, let's go. Legs, woohoo! Again, bigger, deeper in the legs. Good. Keep the legs forward. Arms up, four, three, two. Cross the body, four, three, two. Arms up, good. Squat it down, go. Out, out. Make it bigger and deeper. You can even add a booty shake. Hey! If you want. <laughs> Whoa. Tap, slide. Tap, option, arms. Good, keep it going. You ready? Speed it up. Uggy, uggy, uggy! I heard you. Come on. Well done. Team, from the top. Yes, legs. Again, four, three, two, hold. Keep the legs, travel forward. Four, three, two, arms up back. Four, three, two, forward. Hey, and back. Good, squat it down. Tight. Eight, 
seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Squat and hold. So stay here. You're just gonna sway side to side, getting lower each time. Now, we're gonna take this up a notch. I'm gonna show you the options, so watch first. Option one, we go down, up. Next option, in, out. Keep your hands up, chest up. Let's go, come with me. We count, you ready? Down from eight, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Now watch the change. Nice and steady, we're gonna go down real slow and up quick. Breathe and go. Four, three, two, one. Up, 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 now hold it, hold. I need to see the shake happening. Are they shaking? If they're not, get lower. And hold. Breathe. Now pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, in, out, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 and one. March out, guys. Take a nice big deep breath, inhale, and exhale, relax. Now to finish, we're gonna come down into a nice squat again, and I want you to give me 16 pulses. You ready? In four, three, two, one, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, count with me, last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. All right, guys, seriously, big well done for joining me today, and thank you so much. You made it count. You got out of your comfort zone. All right, and that's what it's all about. It's Friday, so go and have yourself an amazing day. Whatever you decide to do, stay positive. Do gratitude every day, so every day you wake up, three, three, three things that you're grateful for, it will help massively. See you all soon, bye. Thank you so much, Lish, and thanks for reminding us to practice gratitude. Another week of workouts then, I hope you enjoyed them, and thanks for sharing your feedback on socials. Here's what's coming up next week. And we'll have our experts just like Ben Cooper. Hi Ben, good to see you as always. Um, we need some help today for that gym person who is uh, used to using lots of heavy weights and equipment and is missing all that stuff. Give us some tips. So first and foremost, scour your house. Is there anything that you can find that, was, that is remotely heavy and we can use as a tool? Secondly, what carrying devices do you have around your house? Do you have a bag? Do you have a backpack? Do you have plastic bags? Do you have jute bags? Can we fill it with heavy stuff and almost recreate a weight, recreate a kettlebell so that we can use it? Third to that is tempo. Tempo is the speed of movement. So if you take something like a press up and you're doing a press up quickly, it's easy to do. What if we really slowed that down, paused, hold, hold and explode up? I bet you can only do like 10, 12, 15 reps. So again, we're creating greater stimulus through modification of tempo. And fourth idea is gymnastics and calisthenics movements. Bear crawls, frog stance, handstands, uh, push-ups. All of these are advanced movements that will keep your muscles stimulated and progressing even while we're in lockdown. Fantastic, Ben. Appreciate that. Have a good day. Have a good mooch around the home. See what you can use. A child, a rucksack full of tins, two buckets of mud for a farmer's walk. You have to think outside the box. If you do need some kit and don't want to spend a fortune, we have a few items for review 
next week. The weekend is coming and for some of you, you're thinking, what am I going to do with my kids? They've been pulling my hair out all week because I've got too much energy. Well, some top tips on how to keep the kids active and exercising for the weekend. We've got Chris Jarman, children's consultant. Hi, Chris. Hey, Faris. So one of my top tips is using challenges. So that could be a time, a quantity or a creative challenge. So a time challenge might be how many shuttle runs could you do over 10 meters in 60 seconds or how many press ups could you do in 30 seconds? A quantity challenge could be how many kick ups with a football or scrumple up at a paper up and hit it against the wall like hand squash. How many times can you hit it against the wall before it drops on the floor? Finally, a creative challenge might be the best dance routine or the most creative way of throwing a basketball into a dustbin. Keep a leaderboard, keep it fun, keep challenges within family, virtually with friends, uh, but keep it active and keep it fun. Brilliant, some great advice there and some really good stuff you can do that isn't obvious exercise, but um, the kids are going to love it and keep them active. Thanks a lot, Chris. Have yourself a great weekend. Thanks, Faris. Thank you for tuning in and thanks to all our contributors. We are making this show to help you keep fit while staying at home and by watching, you are helping raise money for the NHS. So keep on watching and keep on working out. It's a win-win. For more tips and advice, head to our website, bestfittv.co.uk. My top takeaway tip from this week's show, if you are lonely, take a bath as it releases a happy hormone, oxytocin, and if you're not burning enough calories, lunge everywhere you go. Stay at home, stay safe, have a brilliant weekend. See you on Monday.